If you practice well, then I'm happy to sacrifice anything, even my life for you. Then I'll be happier. Yeah? Happier. <laughs> Remember God, you are divine. Have a good night. Remember Hello, hello, hello. New, new, yeah, newcomer. Okay. I feel kind of sad when I walk around. People just half left, you know, outside. Normally outside also fall. I also don't like it that fall before <laughs> because it's too fall and uncomfortable for you. But now I see it's all empty. It feels so empty, you know, <laughs> like empty nest, not used to it, half empty yard, you know. And knowing that nobody else can come again, it feel kind of sad. Yes, but you know nowadays we have many way to contact each other, huh? We should be happy, better than Jesus' time, Jesus Christ time, yeah, better than Buddha's time. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to come to see me, if I'm available, it's so quick, yeah, so quick. You just. Book a ticket, even don't even have to go anywhere. Online. <laughs> no need to queue and anything. Online. Yeah, electronic ticket, go to the machine, take it out. <laughs> yeah, this is so convenient nowadays. We should feel happy for what we have. Yes, it could be better, of course, like we can stay longer together and all that, and the facility is cooler, you know, more trees and more natural or whatever, but there are good and bad things, you know. I'm not going to South Africa, not yet, no. <laughs> I don't know, certainly, it just it feel, feel empty in me, you know. So if something nearby and if convenient, then I, I probably will go see, but I don't know, certainly I don't feel like traveling anymore. Oh. Oh, there are so many more coming. Oh, this is another one, a Buddhist Tech Translation Society. Somebody found it for me? How did you find it? Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. It's good, and we can, we can give them also some donation so they can continue this good job. Mm. Yeah, okay. And I asked uh, somebody to... Contact them by email, yeah, and then we how to transfer the money to them, and it's easy. We will give them the same amount as last time we give to the Vietnamese Buddhist Association. Yeah, yeah. of course, this um, all this uh, sutra was translated from Sanskrit a long time ago. Yeah, uh, probably uh, maybe. Maybe before that, you know, when Xuan Chuang, Master Xuan Chuang, went to India, together with the monkey and <laughs> the pig and the <laughs> horse and <laughs> uh, whatever the other one, yeah. And then he brought all the Tripitaka to China. And at that time, probably they translated into some different old Chinese or something, and later translated again. Yeah, in the Tang Dynasty, yeah, seven hundred. The year 700 after Christ. Okay. Chinese into English by Buddhist Text Translation Society. So this is direct from Chinese. Yeah. This is the one I read to you. First of Bodhisattva, thanks for the information. Yeah. Very good. Where are you from? Australia? Slovenia. Slovenia? Hmm? You look like one guy in Australia. Everything okay in Slovenia? Yes. <laughs> Good. Should be okay. 
Okay, now you want to know the names of the Buddhas, yeah? Uh, sorry, uh, you can... At that time, Erstor Bodhisattva Mahasattva said to the Buddha, Well, honored one, I want to discuss some practices that will be helpful to beings of the future and will enable them to gain great benefit throughout their lives and deaths. Well, honored one, please hear my comments. Ah, get something to drink. Mm, lemon juice again. I told you, if I say I like it, then I have in it. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay, the names of the Buddha. At that time, Erstor Bodhisattva Mahasattva said to the Buddha, World Honored One. Oh, excuse me. Uh, somehow, I don't know, this one is, I say, trans, from translated society. Just for this one or for any other one? Because in the other book, I saw some other book also translated into English, but they say Buddhist International Association. It sounds like the Vietnamese one, but translated, you know, Vietnamese one also say International Association, so I don't know, maybe it's the same company, maybe not. <laughs> we have to check it out, check it out more. huh? There may be many translation uh, group, huh? Yeah, who are very enthusiastic about doing the Buddha's work yeah. to help others. They are also kind of bodhisattvas in this in disguise. Yeah. At that time, Erstor Bodhisattva Mahasattva said to the Buddha, "World honored one, I want to discuss some practices that will be helpful to beings of the future." and I will enable them to gain great benefit throughout their lives and deaths. World Honored One, please hear my comments. The Buddha told us to Bodhisattva, oh, it's so hard to, to cross legs. Are you feeling okay? Stretch your legs, you know, around your neighbor or <laughs> behind your neighbor, whatever. It's, it's too hard when we cross legs. For me, yes. Also, I sit on high, you know, and all the heat come up. <laughs> People up there, are you kind of burning? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm wearing this so I can sit longer, yeah? Because today may be your last day, you know, and you're going soon or tomorrow or maybe I leave, I don't know yet. 
Okay, I could stay a couple more days until you leave, but but you soon, you know, slowly have to leave. Mm. We're honored one, okay, already. Uh, the Buddha said, the world honored one said to earth, earth or Bodhisattva, now with your earth, you know, earth, the soil, mother earth, yeah, earth store. Hmm. I mean, great, huh? <laughs> Big store. <laughs> now with your expansive compassion, you wish to discuss the, the inconceivable events involved in rescuing all those in the six paths. You know already, right? Six suffering paths, yeah? Uh, being born in, you know, uh, in hell, being born in, as animal, being born as hungry ghost, etc., etc., yeah? Who are suffering for their offenses. This is the right time. Speak now, since my nirvana is near. Oh my God, this is at the end of the Buddha's time. So he went up to heaven to preach to his mother. So that I can help you complete your vows soon. Then I too will have no need to be concerned about beings of the present or future. Oh, Buddha, you still have to concern. We are still here. <laughs> yeah. Earth or I'm also glad that Earth or Bodhisattva is here. Yeah, it's everywhere. So maybe I don't have to work anymore. I can just go, you know, nirvana like Buddha. So I don't have to concern anymore because <laughs> you're doing your vows. English okay? Interpret, yes. Thank yeah. you. What are you doing now? Uh, I learned uh, organic farming. Organic farming. I just have a first graduation. Oh. And then what are you doing? Buy a farm and do organic? Uh, after I can continue, I need to learn more. Mm. Mm, try to learn when we're still here. <laughs> Wait until you cultivate your farm, maybe I have no, no chance to eat your fruit. <laughs> mm. Earth store, Bodhisattva said to the Buddha, We're honored one. Countless Asamkaya eons ago, I mean countless, 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 countless time. A Buddha name, what is his name? The Buddha name, boundless body, thus come one, appeared in the world. Thus come one is one of the title of all the Buddha anyway. Understand? Yeah. It's not just for him. That's why they always thus come one. I mean rulai in, in Chinese. Yeah, I mean no coming, no going. Yeah. I mean, even if the Buddha stay in one place, but he can manifest his body in different direction to help people. That is meaning of first come one. Yeah. I mean no coming, no going. If man or woman hear his Buddha this Buddha's name, remember, okay, boundless body. Buddha. <laughs> if thirst come one is making too much trouble for you to remember, just say boundless body Buddha. Yeah. If man or woman here, this is long, long time ago. This Buddha is long, long past already. Asamkhya eons ago already. I mean, countless, countless of earth time. You know, you cannot even measure how long ago he already passed away. Even then. If any man or woman heard his name now, you know, at the Buddha time, that means just two thousand years, some years ago, or three thousand, almost three thousand years, right? Mm. Then, uh, and and have a momentary thought of respect, those people will overstep the heavy offenses involved in birth and death for forty aeons. How much more will that be the case for those who scrubbed or paint this Buddha's image? Oh, thank you, we don't know how, what he looks like. <laughs> or praise and make offerings to him. Yeah. You know, in your heart or some flower or something with respect and gratitude. Maybe one day I'll do all that. 
I remember all the Buddha, I write all the name down and I make some offering just to thank them for their countless sacrifice for, he, for all beings in all the directions. You know, Buddha, enlightened master, this enlightened master, it's the same. Mm-hmm. You say enlightened master or you say Buddha, it's the same. The enlightened one. Huh? The complete enlightened one, <laughs> the one who benefits beings. Well, the merit they obtain will be limitless and unbounded. Furthermore, in the past, as many eons ago, as there are grains, you, you can write out the Buddha's name eh? if you want. You don't have pen, huh? <laughs> Later, maybe. Look at the video again. Yeah. Probably the center will record it and keep it for you. Huh? Look again, write out the names of Buddha, and if you want to thank them with your heartfelt gratitude. Furthermore, in the past, as many eons ago, as there are grains of sand in the Ganges River, a Buddha named Jewel, Jewel Nature, thus come one, appeared in the world. If man or woman hear this Buddha's name and instantly decide to take refuge, those people will never retreat from the unsurpassed path, the high path, you know, Buddha's path. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Padma Supreme Thus Come One appeared in the world. If man or woman hear this Buddha's name, or if the sound of the name merely passes into their ears, those people will re- be reborn one thousand times in the six desire heavens. How much more will that be the case if those people sincerely recite the name of that Buddha? Furthermore, in the past, inexpressively, inexpressively, Asamkhya eons ago, I mean, long, longer than just one time, is repeat two times. Yeah. I mean, longer, long, long, long. A Buddha named Lion's Roar, thus come one, appeared in the world. If man or woman hear this Buddha's name and in a single thought take refuge, those people will encounter numberless Buddhas who will rub the crowns of their heads and bestow prediction of enlightenment upon them. Wow! If you feel somebody rubbing your head, then you know that that your sincerity is accepted, nah? that you're really sincere. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Krakukchanda appeared in the world. If man or woman hear this Buddha's name and sincerely behold, worship and praise him, be attentive now, yeah? So in your heart you pay respect to them, okay? They sacrifice untold suffering for us. I mean, for other of our ancestors or anyone. Those people, behold, worship or praise him, those people will become great Brahma heaven kings in the assemblies of the thousand Buddhas of the worthy Aeon and will there receive superior predictions. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Vipassin appear in the world. Okay. Maybe I spelled some name for you, huh? The Buddha named Padma, P A D M A, Supreme, okay? And the other Buddha named uh, Lion's Roar, then you know, okay? But this Buddha named Krakukchanda, K R A. K U C C H A N D A. Okay? And now V passing. V I P A S H I N. Okay? Yeah. So that when they do subtitle, they know how to write it. Oh, they can just print it out and look up on, I guess. Just for you. Hmm? So you know which Buddha. <laughs> you have headache or something? Is your co better? Hmm, good. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will eternally avoid falling into the evil paths, will always be born among people or gods, 
you know, human or God, and will abide in supremely wonderful bliss. Furthermore, in the past, as many aeons ago, as there are grains of sand in limitless and countless Ganges River, Whew, so long ago, and the Bodhisattva store, earth store, remember all of them. But this is in heaven. Huh? <laughs> yeah. A Buddha named Jewel Supreme. Jewel, yeah? Jewel, Jewel, Jewel Supreme appear in the world. If men or women hear this Buddha's name, those people will never fall into the evil paths and will always abide in the heavens experiencing supremely wonderful bliss. Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Jewel, Jewel with E-D at the end, appearance, Jeweled appearance, first come one, appeared in the world. If man or woman hear his, this Buddha's name and give rise to a thought of respect, those people will soon attain the fructions of ahanship, Wow, each Buddha has more a different power. Eh? Some you can be in heaven, and some can grant you a hardship very soon. Mm. Furthermore, limitless, Asamkhya eons ago, a Buddha named Kasaya Bana, Kasaya, K A S H A Y A, Kasaya, Kasaya Bana, first come one appeared in the world. If man or woman hear this Buddha's name, those people will overcome the offenses of birth and death for one hundred great aeons. <sighs> Incredible. Furthermore, meaning you always stay in heaven, eh? you don't have to be reborn as human again and die and go back again, for <laughs> one hundred great aeons. Wow. So if you recite all this Buddha's name, you never come back down again. Thanks, God. <laughs> I don't have to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, in the past, a Buddha named Great Penetration Mountain King, first come one, appeared in the world. If man or woman hear this Buddha's name, those people will encounter as many Buddhas as there are grains of sand in the Ganges, whoa, who will speak Dharma extensively for them, making certain that they realize body, realize enlightenment, yeah, realize Buddhahood. Okay. Furthermore, in the past there were Buddhas named Pure Moon Buddha, Mountain King Buddha, Wise Victory. Buddha, pure name King Buddha, accomplished wisdom Buddha, unsurpassed Buddha, wonderful sound Buddha, full moon Buddha, moon face Buddha, and indescribably many other Buddhas, were honored one beings of the present and future, bo both gods and humans, both male and female, can amass such limitless merit and virtue by reciting only one Buddha's name. So if you recite all of them, then you have a lot. <laughs> but sincerity and respect also, you know, not just like a record player. That should be helpful for other people, huh? How much more merit will they amass by reciting many names? Those beings will personally obtain benefits in their lives and deaths significant enough to keep them from ever falling into the evil paths. When people are on the verge of dying, a group of their relatives or even just one of the relatives should recite Buddha's name aloud for the people who are sick. By doing so, the karmic retributions of those people who are about to die will be dissolved. 
even offenses deserving fivefold uninterrupted retribution. Oh, incredible. Offenses warranting fivefold uninterrupted retribution are so extremely heavy that those who commit them should not escape retribution for thousands of aeons. But if, however, at the time of such offender's death, someone recites the name of the Buddhas on their behalf, then their offenses can gradually be dissolved. How much more will that be the case of beings who recited those names themselves? The merit they attain will be limitless and will er eradicate measureless offenses. Bravo, Buddha, Bodhisattva. Thank you so much. Okay, it's, it's done. End, end of that story. Do you want another one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, be packing it, yeah? <laughs> so that, uh, not just for you, but the other centers, huh? They're listening, and yeah? the world is listening. <laughs> Your brother and sister is sitting there drooling, hoping, wishing they were here, <laughs> because they know it's life, it's different. I love you guys. Not you, no. The <laughs> Okay, you also. I mean, other centers, people. Just help. Imagine they are smiling and clapping, maybe the same. This is called the conditions and comparative merits and virtues of giving. At that time, Earth Bodhisattva, this is also from Anand, first I've heard, yeah? Okay. At that time, Earth Bodhisattva Mahasattva, based on the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength, arose from his seat, knelt on both knees, placed his palms together, and said to the Buddha, Wow, this Bodhisattva, he's so awesome and so humble. He done so much and he still go and kneel in front of Buddha. Mm? Because he knows the Buddha is supporting him also spiritually, you know, so he can do his job. Not just this Buddha, but other Buddha as well. So he's grateful and humble. Word honored one, I have observed beings within the path of karma and compare their acts of giving. Some do a little and some do a lot. Some receive blessings for one life, some for ten lives, and some receive great blessings and benefits for hundreds or thousands of lives. Why is that? Please, world honored one, Explain that for us. He know it's just that everybody else is too low to understand what to ask, so he has to ask this. Yeah, the Bodhisattva Erstor knew it. He just asked for the sake of other beings. At that time, the Buddha told Erstor Bodhisattva, here in this assembly in the palace of Trayastrimsha Heaven, I will now discuss the comparative merit and virtue derived from acts of giving done by the beings in Jambut Vipa. Listen attentively to what I said. Erstor said to the Buddha, I have wondered about this matter and will be pleased to listen. The Buddha told Erstor Bodhisattva, In Jambut Vipa, leaders of nations, prime ministers, high officials, great elders, great Kshatriyas, yes, the warrior castle of India, right? Yeah. Great Brahmins and others may encounter those who are poor, hunchbacked, crippled, dumb, mute, deaf, retarded, blind, or handicapped in other ways. Those leaders and good people may wish to give to those people and may be able to do so with great compassion. 
a humble heart and a smile. They may arrange to give generously either personally with their own hands or by arranging for others to do so, using gentle words and sympathetic speech. The blessings and benefits that such leaders and good people will accrue will be comparable to the meritorious virtues derived from giving to as many Buddhas as there are grains of sand in a hundred Ganges rivers. Wow. The Buddha compared himself to these cripples. So don't look down upon them. Give them benefit. Yeah, give them comfort and help them. You understand why? Hmm? You understand why giving, helping, loving to the to the, the cripples is as much as you are giving offering to the Buddhas. You understand why? Anyone? Anyone? Yes. Because they are vulnerable. Yes. Yeah. And? And they can help But they can help themselves. Yeah, they cannot help themselves. It's like yeah. doing it to him. What love? It's like give, giving or doing to him himself also. Yeah, it's like as giving to the Buddha himself. And just like in the Bible, say, I was hungry and you gave me food. I was uh, thirsty and you gave me drink, meaning God. You know, if you give to someone like that, as if you give to God. Because they all have the Buddha inside them. They all have God inside them. It's like you're giving to the Buddha. Oh, they have God and Buddha inside them, so just as if giving to God and Buddha themselves. Some of them are great souls, they just choose that path. Some are great souls, they choose that path, possibly. Possibly, we never know, possibly karma that makes them that. Okay, I tell you the main reason, I pretend that I know a little better. <laughs> Since you sit there and cramp and cannot think, <laughs> think. I sit here comfy, I may think better, okay? I think, me thinks. The reason why we give to these cripples and helpless people is as good as we give to the Buddha. The merit is equal. The reason is that. If you give with love, of course, yeah, and compassion, the reason why is equal. Me thinks. <laughs> it is because these people we give you nothing back in return. They have nothing to offer you. They are not high class, they, they can do something for you, they're not even able to help you in any way. But you give them nevertheless with love and compassion, and that is unconditional love. Unconditional love brings great merit. That's good. So the Buddha knows that, and I just, I said it all right. <laughs> Okay, yeah? Mm, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's okay. I said, if I didn't say correct, just kick me out of my chair, and they didn't. I said it to myself. <laughs> I think, that's what I think, yes. So, being vulnerable and all that, then they're helpless. You know? And if you love them, meaning your love is true love, unconditional, one no merit even, what kind? Because most people look down upon the cripples, what kind of merit can they give you? If you give it to Buddha, you think, okay, merit. Give to monks, you think, okay, merit. But you give it to the cripples, yeah? They might not even be able to vote for you. And they cannot walk around, they can't do much, you know? Yeah, but you take pity on them, you know? You give it to them so that their life pass more comfortably. That is true love. That touched my heart also when I talk about that. It's really, really love. I like that. Really, very touching to even talk about that. Such person. And the Buddha say, that, you know, the leaders, you know, not just ordinary people. When the leaders even have so much love for such a helpless people, then he deserve all this merit, for sure. But if you give, you don't think of merit, okay? You have to have true love in your heart, feeling sorry for them, feeling love for them, then you have merit, okay? 
Don't just because of this, this, and say, oh, I have to go out and give for merit. May, maybe even you say that you still have merit, but less worthy, worthy, okay? At least, no matter, even if you want to give for merit, just do it. You know why? At least it benefits that people, okay? And you have merit or not, well, that's your problem. <laughs> because you're not pure then you have less merit or no merit. But at least those people, helpless people, have comfort. Me thinks. Huh? <laughs> you always pretend that I know better. You make me ego feel good. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> you know everything, you just don't want to tell me. Hmm? Keep it secret, huh? For yourself. Hmm. The blessing and benefit, okay, such leaders and good people will accrue, will be comparable to the meritorious virtues derived from giving to as many Buddhas as there are grains of sands in hundred Ganges rivers. Not just by equal to giving to one Buddha, but countless, you know, of Ganges rivers of sands. Can you count the sands in the Ganges river? No, you cannot. And countless of them, <laughs> countless of rivers, sands. Wow, my God! Up to now, we read the Buddha always praise the merit of offering to the Buddhas, the monks, and the nuns. You would not know, would you? You wouldn't imagine the Buddha praise the merit of giving to the crippled people, the handicapped people. Hmm? Hmm. Many countries are good like that. They have a special parking for handicap, have special, uh, uh, you know, equipment or education for handicap people. Even for blind people, they print word in, you know, um, protruding words so they can read with their hands. Braille. 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 Yes. Bless are these countries just as if giving them offerings of something to help them, you know, enable them to live a better life. These are also a charity. These are also meritorious. But don't all go out and, and, and just f go, all of you go out and find the, the handicap and give them and forget the poor and the needy and the monks in India and elsewhere. Understand? Yes. Yeah, you must give wherever you see, wherever needed wherever in your power or in, in, it comes to you. Or you can go find, but not specifically find the handicaps to give. Yeah? Handicap as well as other needy people. After all, you cannot take your money with you. Give, 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 give and give. Okay? Disaster victims, the orphans, the widows, you know, helpless elderly who has no one to, to help. Even if you don't have money to give, you come and say hello hmm? to the handicapped, to the elderly. You need something? Can I help you? Maybe I'm going to grocery store. Do you need something? I, by the way, can buy for you. You don't have money enough, so she gives you money, but you buy for her, you know? Instead of giving money, you give your time, your kindness. That is also giving. The Buddha just cites some examples, yeah? Everything you can give, eh? a kind word to these helpless, desolated people, you know, or even just some little gift, you know, brighten their life, helping to cut the grass, trim the garden for them, yeah, bring some water, you know, something like that. If there's an elderly live next door to you, call on often to see if she or he all right. Because sometimes the elderly people, they certainly became ill and they can't help themselves. And you came in, you know, maybe you bring a glass of water, you call the doctor, something like that, okay? This is also a kind of neighboring love. Mm? You must. In the Bible also say, love thy neighbor, and love in action is good. Huh? I'm just saying some example, like the Buddha say example, but you think of many ways, you, you know your environment, you know the people around you. Check it out, huh? Mm. Why is that? Those leaders, you know, why is that just giving to the handicapped? Have so much merit, like countless of the Ganges River sand. Why is that? 
those leaders and good people will receive such rewards of blessings and benefits for having shown a great compassionate heart toward the most impoverished, yeah, just as I said before, and handicapped individuals throughout hundreds of thousands of lives to come, they will always have an abundance of the seven gems, not to mention clothing, food, and the necessities of life. Moreover, earth store, in the future, the leaders of nations, Brahmins, and others good people may encounter Buddhist stupas, monasteries, or images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, sow hearers of the past, you know, the, the statues of them, or maybe images of the past, or Patekya Buddhas, and personally make offerings or give gifts to them. From doing that, those leaders and good people will serve as Lord Chakras for a duration of three aeons, enjoying supremely wonderful bliss. If you make offering to the Buddha statues, Bodhisattva statues, or give offering when they're alive, if you encounter them, the sound hearers even only, you know, like you. Mm. If anyone make offering to you, if you need it, you know, if you don't need, then you don't have to take. What's well, better take care of yourself and give? Hmm? They, they can become chakra god for oh, three aeons. Yeah, imagine. Chakra god is powerful. He's the chief god of 33 heavens and 33 gods under him. And you can rule there for three aeons. Aeons is a long, long time. If they are able to transfer the blessings and benefits of that giving and dedicate it to the Dharma realm, then those leaders of nations and good people will reign as great Brahma heaven kings for ten aeons. Okay, dedicate that. Brahma kings is higher than chakras. <laughs> I was thinking you should dedicate all this merit towards become a Buddha. Hmm? Partake your Buddha also okay. I mean, you don't have to teach per people, you just become Buddha. Then you have blessing, you can bless all people, any people you want. And even after you came to heaven or, or you went to Nirvana already, in thousands of Ganges River, in fast, your name still bless anyone who recited with reverence and love. Imagine that's why we should be a Buddha. That's the reason why I left home. I thought, what else can I give to the world instead? You know, if I become Buddha, then I can bless people, I can save people. That's the best thing you can do, right, for people. Even if you offer money and all that, they eat and they finish. But if you offer the blessing even just with your name, people just hear your name and they're liberated from hell. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. After we read all the horrifying, terrible experience in hell for anyone who Take, to make offenses from ignorance, you know, from not knowing. We all want to help these people, right? So the only way is to be a Buddha or Bodhisattva, because even your name only, for ends, for countless of time and earth and universe, just a name here at one time, help these suffering people to avoid hell. Moreover, earth store, in the future, the leaders of nations or others, you know, good people, may, upon encountering ancient Buddhist stupas and monasteries or sutras and images that are damaged, decaying or broken, resolve to restore them. Those leaders and good people may then do so themselves or encourage others, as many as hundreds of thousands of people, to help and thereby establish affinities. Those leaders and good people will become will-turning kings for hundreds of thousands of successive lives 
and those who made offerings with them will be leaders of small nations for as many lives. A small nation will do for me. Big nation is too much trouble, <laughs> too complicated, right? <laughs> to be a, a, lead, a president of the United States, oh, it's a hard work, huh? <laughs> Small nation is okay with me. Then we can go all go there, meditate together, no problem. If before the stupas or monasteries they resolve to dedicate that merit, then based on that limitless and unbounded reward, those leaders, good people, and their helpers will eventually all complete the path to Buddhahood. Eventually, it could be a long time. Okay, <laughs> could be eons. Moreover, a store in the future leaders of nations, Brahmins and others may have compassionate thoughts upon seeing the old, the sick, a woman in childbirth, and may provide them with medicinal herbs, food, drink, and bedding, so as to make them peaceful and comfortable. The blessings and benefits derived from doing that are quite inconceivable, even just to help these people. A little bit. Yeah. You guys doing good. <laughs> yeah, all of you who does, you know, helping people you know, unconditionally, you're doing fine. You're doing well. Good job. For 1,000 eons, they will always be lords of the pure dwelling heavens, one of the heavens. For 200 eons, they will be lords of the six desire heavens. A little less, yeah. You know, marriage is coming down. So, the heaven, your kingdom also become less valuable. Yeah. And they will ultimately attain Buddhahood. They will never fall into the evil paths, and for hundreds of thousands of lives, they will hear no sounds of suffering. Wow, fortunate people. Moreover, earth store. Okay, you might ask me why the Buddha hear the sounds of suffering when he comes down here. Well, he wanted to. He didn't have to. Hmm? For all the merit he has done, <laughs> he would have never heard the sound of suffering, or he will continue to be kings of heaven all the time, all the time, all the time. But he wanted to become Buddha. Yeah? And because he became Buddha, but we came, he came to this world instead of going to Nirvana. So this world is full of suffering. He wanted to. He wanted to help. Mm, that's why. Yeah, so don't, don't say this, contradict each other. It's not. It's not. Mm? Okay. Moreover, earth store, if in the future leaders of nations, Brahmins and others can give in that way, they will receive limitless blessing. If they are in addition able to dedicate that merit, be it great or small, they will ultimately attain Buddhahood. You know, dedicate that to Buddhahood, not to want to be king of heavens or reap reward as king of nations and prime minister, etc. Mm. Wonderful, huh? Mm. How much more easily will they be able to attain the rewards of becoming Chakra, Brahma, or a will turning king? Therefore, earth store, you should urge beings everywhere to learn to give in those ways. Yeah. If you don't just dedicate all this merit and sacrifice to become a Buddha in the future, and then so easy, you can become Chakra, God King, or Brahman, you know, Brahma King or Will Turning King. Then it's very easy. You will be that. There are enough uh, heavens, enough world for you, to, all of you, to even become kings of those heavens. Even if there is none, one will, will be manifested for you. So don't worry that there's so little heavens so all of us cannot become. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, can be. It's different in heaven than here. Here is only a 100-something nations. You can't just, all of you be king, I'm sorry, or prime ministers. <laughs> Give up that dream. <laughs> but in heavens, you can. Heaven can be limitless, you know, forever. Anyone can become king of Brahma and the Brahman heaven will never be filled or we'll never be short of nations for you, <laughs> like here. So we don't have to fight yeah, for kingdom, fight for land, fight for dominion over, you know, 
the country that you want to rule. Moreover, a store in the future, if good men or good women only manage to plant a few good roots within the Buddha Dharma, equivalent to no more than a strand of hair, you know a strand of hair, this much, yeah. If to plant a few good roots just as little as this, I don't know how one can do a good root so little as this. Do you? How? Huh? Give one piece of bread for the Buddha, <laughs> like this or something? Or give, a, you know, maybe one comfort word to the needy, yeah? Or help to uh, old elderly to cross the road, something like that. Then maybe marry little, hmm? but still have. Even then, equivalent to a strand of hair merit or a grain of sand, or a mold of dust, they will receive incomparable blessings and benefits. Do good deeds. Just do it. Okay? Mm. I keep telling you over and over again since many decades, but here the Buddha say that also. Okay? The Buddha say that. Buddha and Bodhisattva say all this. And the Buddha was in heaven saying this. Okay, what for he lied to us? He was he's already a Buddha. Huh? He don't need our praise, our recognition, nothing. He has only a few ropes and he begs for food. He needs nothing. So he tells the truth. Yeah. Moreover, a store bodhisattva. Good man or woman in the future may, upon encountering images of Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Patekya Buddhas or will-turning kings, give gifts or make offerings to them. Such persons will attain limitless blessings and will always enjoy supremely wonderful bliss among people and all gods. Yeah. If they can dedicate that merit to the Dharma realm, their blessing and benefits will be beyond compare. Moreover, a store Bodhisattva, good man or good woman in the future may, upon entering, encountering great vehicle sutras, like this one, for example, or that one, and uh, yeah, great vehicle sutras, or upon hearing but a single gatha or sentence of that sutra. Oh, from them, from those sutra, those people will attain great, limitless, and unbounded rewards. So thank me for reading this to you. <laughs> Say thank you, Master. <laughs> Thanks. Acknowledged and accepted. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, future Buddhas. Mm. <laughs> if they can dedicate that merit to the Dharma realm, I mean, to become Buddha, yeah, their blessing will be beyond compare. So don't ask for heaven's blessing or earth reward. Dedicate whatever merit you have to your Buddhahood, future Buddhahood, okay? Moreover, a store in the future, good man or good woman may, upon encountering new Buddhist stupas, monastery or sutras of the great vehicle, give gifts and make offerings to them, gaze at them in worship, and respectfully make praises with joined palms. They may, upon encountering old ones or those that have been destroyed or damaged, either do the repairing or rebuilding themselves or encourage others to help them. Those who help will become leaders of small nations throughout 30 successive lives. The donors themselves will always be will-turning kings who will use the good Dharma to teach and transform those leaders of small nations. Wow. So woe to them who destroy the Buddha's temples or this uh, ancient site of, of uh, 
churches or mosques, you know, that the UNESCO tried to preserve as world heritage. They should be warned of the, such a wanton act. It's very bad for them, very, very bad. Bad karma, terrible karma. You know, it's easy to use power to destroy things or damage things that people revered or, or loved. But it's not easy to avoid hell afterward. Moreover, a store, sometimes he don't say Bodhisattva, I just say a store. I, I add on Bodhisattva because <laughs> I respect the earth store Bodhisattva so much. He's my first Bodhisattva. <laughs> A statue that I get. I just bought a statue. I thought that's Earth Star Bodhisattva, so I worship him <laughs> together with Guan Yin, yeah, and other that I can. Small statues, and other Buddha I have it in in picture, you know. And then I offer flowers, incense, light eh, every day. And my ex-husband also bring flowers to them. <laughs> he knew nothing about Buddhism, but he just liked the Buddha. I think Buddhism is cool. <laughs> He asked me, do you have to pay tax to the temple so that the monks will come and recite, you know, Buddhas and pray for you when you die? I said, no, no. You may make offering at that time if you want. You know, don't have to be how much, whatever you can. And so he liked that very much. <laughs> no church tax, you know, no temple tax. The monk just come if you invite. It. So he, he liked that very much. If he hear all this, we'll be more happy. The monk don't even have to come, <laughs> just recite the Buddhas. Yeah. I don't. I take care of him in any case. Yeah. He was a good boy. Moreover, Earth Store in the future, Earth Store Bodhisattva. In the Buddha can call him Earth Store. I like to call him Bodhisattva. Yeah. In the future, good man or good woman may plant good roots in the Buddha Dharma by giving, making offerings, repairing stupas or monasteries, rebinding sutras or doing other good deeds, amounting to no more than a strand of hair, a mote of dust, a grain of sand or a drop of water, merely by transferring the merit from such deeds to Dharma realm, those people's meritorious virtues will enable them to enjoy superior and wonderful bliss for hundreds of thousands of lives. If they dedicate the merit only to their immediate or extended family or to their own personal benefit, then the rewards received will be only three lives of happiness. By giving up one, a ten thousand reward is obtained. So it is a store the circumstances involved in the causes and conditions of giving are like that. You know, it differs, depends on your aim, your motive, and your nobility when you're doing that. Okay, are you all right? Yeah. Uh, not very cramped? <laughs> uh, I am. <laughs> You clap because you clap because I say I'm cramped. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you clap to the Buddhas, right? And the Bodhisattvas. Yeah. Praise be them. Praise, even though they're not here anymore. We are so respectful. So thankful. Hmm? So thankful. Oh, this one is long. Oh, this one is long or not? Oh, there's one short one before, it's a long one. <laughs> I'm checking. Do you, you still want to hear more, huh? Yes. In case you have to leave, huh? So we'll read through the night, huh? Mm. Can do. If I'm not too tired, if you're not cramped. Uh, can we do that? Should we do that? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> wow, interesting story. On and on. I cannot leave any chapter. All of them are good. Uh, all of them are beneficial. All of them are beautiful. I can't. This also, so this one I cannot choose. I played, you know, I turned the pages and I thought, oh, this I have to read. Not like that one. I have to.
keep out some of too too <laughs> too scary one, you know, or too long or too too uh, too inconceivable for you. This one I read every chapter up to now because it's all interesting, yeah, all beneficial, all wonderful. Even those as they're scary, you know, they're also benefiting for you. It's just some are too, you know, too long or some one reason. May I read it another time? Hmm? But this one I cannot leave out one or two. Everyone is interested. Right? Up to now, right? Yes, sir. And continue. Yes. It's very nice also to read it for you because I, I read it with you. It, it's different lights now. When I was a householder, a housewife, I read it, but I read fast and, you know, in the rhythm, and I might not even understand it so much like now. It doesn't sink in that much. You know, I just recite it. Yes. Because the Buddhist monk tell me, just recite it, married, limitless. So I keep saying, <laughs> doing that day or night whenever I can. But has not too much time to really think about it or appreciate it as much as now when I'm with you. So thank you also for good listeners, <laughs> being good listeners. You like that, huh? huh? Good for your ego, huh? <laughs> you okay with English, brother? Okay, very good. Some words I don't understand, never mind. You understand the main essence. It's almost the same anyway, the merit of giving, the merit of being respectful to Buddhas and Buddha statues, Buddha temple, even though they already passed away. Thing like that, okay, huh? Loving, kindness, respect, gratitude. That is the essence of all this story. Oh, you don't have this kind of thing? Only she has? You have this in your temple? Yes, we have it. Everybody has? You have? Somebody, some, someone has it. <laughs> this keep warm? Yes. Have, everybody have? You have it? Similar? Yes. Similar. Yes? No have? <coughs> she don't have? <laughs> Here. Here is for you. <laughs> this one. What? Oh, oh, oh. You have everything. Some tea in it, but you can keep. Uh, I, I see which one is better to keep one longer. Oh, same, same. This one, if you put tea, uh, ginseng, uh, water, warm, you take to your work and drink when winter. Understand? Yeah. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you. You have? Don't have? Here. <laughs> have or not have? I have more. I will take from my kitchen. Don't have? Yes or no have? Have or no? No, don't have. Oh. How many no have? Raise hand. How many? I tell them to buy. You bring Korea and drink in winter. Very good. Winter, when you work outside, meditate outside, have a little like that. When to go, sip, sip. Huh? How many don't have? Raise hand. Ask them. He has it. Whoever don't have, raise hand. I have at home, I have more. Two don't have. Have? 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 No, she don't say nothing. Have? Okay, good, good. I just remember now. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. I do it now before I forget. <laughs> Very quick. Sit down. Sleeping. Sit down. 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 Sit down.
，刚才拿 ，two right only two OK， 刚才你拿走那个我身上那些气有没有？有两个保温瓶有没有？你带过来，现在大殿上面 ，Thank you， 感谢阿弥陀。你听懂吗？保温瓶，小小的。听，小小的，带到上面去。OK， 如果还没有洗干净，拜托你帮你洗一洗，然后带上来，好吗？谢谢，谢谢。现在了，现在。<笑> Because if I don't do it now, I will forget. You know. When I come later there and then many other things, and I forget. It's possible, possible. And maybe they leave tonight, you know, or early morning, and I won't see them. Whatever you do, you do now, right? Not tomorrow. <laughs> you put hot, really hot, hundred hundred degree hot water in it, and take it with you, okay? And you go working or meditate outside. You drink when it's cold. Yeah, or drink whatever. If you put hot medicine also, and you sip, 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 huh? Or tea, or just hot water, it keep warm long time. Better than in the cup. You cannot bring the cup. You might break it. But this don't break, and it keep warm long time. Thank you, Master. I love you. How you say you're welcome? How you say you're welcome? Ah, 천만에요천만에요什么呢 ？Reverend monk， yes, how you say？ Yes. monk。哦，啊，별말씀을요。啊？별말씀을요。什么呢？별말씀이요。I can speak Korean, no problem. <laughs> okay, now we are in the chapter of the Dharma protection of an earth spirit. Yes. At that time, the earth spirit, firm and stable, spoke to the Buddha and said, "Word honored one, from long ago I have personally beheld and bowed to limitless numbers of bodhisattvas, mahasattvas. All of them have inconceivable and great spiritual penetration and wisdom that they use in taking vast numbers of beings across." Across the sea of suffering, meaning liberation. Okay, yeah. among all the bodhisattvas, earth star bodhisattva Mahasattva has the deepest and most weighty vows. Yeah, I used to like him a lot because of all this. You know, he sacrificed. You know, he don't want to become Buddha. He want to be a bodhisattva, so it's easier for him to help all beings, especially from hell. That's what I like very much because they are the one who suffer the most. Right and difficult to get to 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 help them. Even here, difficult already. Not to talk about <laughs> being burnt in hell, you know. And then you forget how to pray and you forget how to to ask for help. You can't do anything anymore. You just burns, you know, everything, and you don't understand anything anymore. You forget. Too much pain. Yeah, too much pain. Even though I. Teach you this method that you should recite every day so that you don't forget. Even then, you forget. You know, when you're busy or when in urgency, sometimes you even forget. Not to talk about the helpers, people who has never practiced this reciting thing. They are not in the habit of praying or reciting. That's why they fail to help. So how could they even pray there when they never prayed before in peaceful time, when they are still alive and still have their.、Uh, Understanding intact. Understand, in hell is horrible and endless, endless suffering, endless torture. Therefore, therefore, I respect the Earth Star Bodhisattva so much. Even when I was a housewife already, I think this is a great being. This is wonderful being. Because I have similar vow, you know. I don't want to tell you, or maybe I told you already. Then it's okay. Whatever. <laughs> I think. Because the 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 worst people are the most needy, yeah. Just like the poorest people are the most needy of help, yeah. 
Um, right? Yeah? <laughs> so the hell people are also the poorest of all the poor spiritually and the most difficult to help. So the earth or Bodhisattva vowed to save them all before he became Buddha even. Because after you become a Buddha, you can save beings for a while, all your lifetime, as long as you live. And then you go to Nirvana. You don't come back. If you want to come back, okay, but mostly no. <laughs> then other Buddha will come anyway, understand? Yes. Or in here, like Bodhisattva will do it, the ghost kings even helping, and the wheel turning king, the Brahman king, they're all helping. Thank you. You are wonderful. <laughs> what is all this mask? I don't see it. <laughs> uh, oh, this is too small, huh? Do you have another big like that in, in any kitchen? Look? Okay. Okay, then. It's too small. I prefer this one for you. Can you bring it here? I want to give it to the nuns. One for you. Too small. <laughs> if a bigger one, I give. If it's uh, don't have, then you have this for temporary. You can buy it in Korea. Yeah, but if you didn't buy, I offer to you. Yeah. yeah. Anybody offer thing to you in Korea in the temple? No, you don't accept. Yeah. I ask, you know, did they have offering? People come offering like all the temple. They say no. We can in practice, so no, we don't receive offering. Yeah. We go earn money and as much as you can. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I have offered some money. Use that for all the monks who cannot work anymore. Okay, for medicine, yeah, for vitamin, all that. Okay, and whoever still can work, then work. Yeah, but cannot work. Please take care of huh? each other, okay? Older, older, cannot work anymore. Sick, pain, vitamin, huh? medicine. Okay, yes. Maybe some electric blanket. Yeah, in, in, in winter, it's very help when, when you have pain, you know? Immediately good. And after sleep a little while, turn off. <laughs> and when cold, turn on. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I forgot you're welcome. Paul. 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 She understands. She understands. Whatever comes to Amida, Samayo, then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps saying that ever since she came here. <laughs> Whenever in private, always, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know you love me. Thank you very much. You look better today when, than when she first came, more, more pinky. <laughs> look better. She also look better. When first come, more pale. Yeah. yeah. Here I have sun, right? Better, huh? Thanks to your blessing. Thanks to my blessing? Yeah, yeah. Not the food that I give. <laughs> Thank you more to the food, I think. The fruits and, you know, yeah. Achoo! <laughs> okay. So we continue? Hmm? Yes. Hmm. All right. So this is the earth spirit, yeah? The mother earth, yeah? who praised the earth store Bodhisattva so much in front of the Buddha, so he's the greatest and has the deepest vow that he knows from all the Bodhisattva. Is this true too? Is this true? Whoever vowed to say, I don't want to become a Buddha yet. I want to fare all the beings across first. That could be forever. <laughs> yes. But the Buddha said to him this time, you know, if you do this and that until that Buddha came, then I will certify you as a Buddha at that time. So he has a limited time now, not forever. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is a beautiful one. It looks new. 
Is that Korean or Japan? <laughs> Japan is oh, Japan is good quality. Oh, this is Japan from Japan, Kong Yang. <laughs> Well, I also agree with him that Ersto Bodhisattva is great, greatest one for me also. You know, for me, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. <laughs> Many times I want Nirvana already. Not just one time. I have to confess to you, I'm not that great. I just want to go as all oh, these beings here. My God, I teach them thirty some years, and they still. Nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, some I eat vegetarian, you know. Uh, don't kill, don't steal, don't tell lie. Okay, better than nothing. <laughs> but the concept and the wisdom are not that as much as I expected. And the love and compassion is still so small. Maybe a little bit tiny, a little bit better than before. But it's difficult to see. <laughs> It's so tiny. You know, this little gap like a grain of sand improvement with effort, yeah? When they forget, then it's like before, you know? But they try, try at least, trying. Sometimes slip, okay. sometimes, you know, go back down. And I say, okay, wow, I want to go nirvana. <laughs> oh, at least in this world, I just go alone somewhere, you know, continue meditating. And bless them from afar, you know. Distant blessing is better than too close. <laughs> too close sometimes is so disappointing. Mm. But never mind, I'm still trying. Okay, yes. At least your subconscious will hear it. And when you die, you remember it. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> but if you slander a master, you know, not just Master Ching Hai, anyone. If they're greatly enlightened and, and, and dedicate themselves for all beings, then you, you go to hell in your astral body already. Understand? Yeah. It's suffering already. It's very bad. So please keep your mouth quiet. Okay? If you don't know that Master is enlightened or not, you cannot judge by his or her actions and speech, then at least keep quiet. Okay? Mind your own business. Meditate. Pray to Buddhas, pray to God, pray to Jesus Christ. Prophet, great Prophet Mohammed, or, you know, mm, Guru Nanak, yeah, Mahavira. Pray to whomever you think is the greatest in your belief. This is Earth Spirit, but He is protecting the Dharma, you know, the true teaching. Yeah, wonderful. And He prays Earth to Bodhisattva. Okay. Most weighty vows is correct. Eh? Weighty. <laughs> I would say mighty. <laughs> well, honored one, Ursta Bodhisattva has great affinities in Jambudvipa. Manjushri, Samanta Bahadra, Avalokitesvara and Maitreya also produce by transformation hundreds of thousands of bodies to take across those in the six paths. Samanta Bhadra Bodhisattva also have great vow and great uh, discipline by himself. And Avalokitesvara and Maitreya also have been all the time, ever since now. They transform themselves into countless bodies, so they can be in different areas, different levels of consciousness, even in earth, in heaven, in hell, anywhere in the universe, to help all beings as well. But their vows have an end. Ah, oh, please. <laughs> yes. Earth or Bodhisattva has made these vows to teach and transform beings in the sixth you know, suffering paths. Through our aeons, as many as the number of sand grains in hundreds of thousands of millions of Ganges rivers. So deep, so many, so repeatedly, he is tirelessly helping sentient beings. All the time. He never stops. So 
Avalo Kiteswara, Min Kuan Ying, you know, Samantha, Bhadra, Matreya, they vow also greatly and they're doing help all the time, but they don't help as limitlessly like us to Bodhisattva. Yeah. Wow, well, he's not afraid to offend these <laughs> Bodhisattvas. <laughs> they're all there at present, you know, in the Buddha's assembly in heaven. All these Bodhisattva was there too. But he tell the truth, right? Yeah, it's okay then. World honored one, as I regard beings in the present and future, I see those who make sh- shrines of clay, stone, bamboo, or wood, and set them on pure ground in the southern part of their dwellings. They place within the shrines images of earth or bodhisattva, either sculpted, painted, or made of gold, silver, copper or iron, then they burn incense, make offerings, behold, worship and praise Him. By doing those things, such people will receive ten kinds of benefits. What are those ten? Can you tell? Oh, we have to ask the earth earth spirit, let Him tell us. You pretend that you don't know, so I ask him, <laughs> please tell us. <laughs> First, their lands will be fertile. Second, their families and homes will always be peaceful. Third, their ancestors will be born in the heavens. Well, maybe that's true. When I worship the earth of Bodhisattva, I and my husband very little quarrel, very little. <laughs> You know, we had a very happy marriage in every aspect, physical, emotional, you know, or spiritual, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know much about spiritual at that time. But at least he offered flower to the Buddha, you know. Then he'll be saved. He don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where these statues are since I left. I hope he kept it somewhere. One day maybe I ask for it. I don't know where to buy this anymore. In Germany it was difficult, but I looked all over and I found him, <laughs> found the earth of Bodhisattva, or I thought that to be. Well, it doesn't matter. If I believe it is to be, then it is. Who knows what he looks like anyway? Any of you happen to know? Can you tell me? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's the belief and the respect that counts, right? Yeah. I thought it's Bodhisattva. So I just have to have him, I brought him home, you know, and asked the Buddhist master to help to bless it, bless my house with it. And every day we make offering, you know, flowers and fruits and incense. Okay. First, their lands will be fertile. Second, their families and homes will always be peaceful. My house was very peaceful during the two years of marriage. We always have really harmonized marriage, very wonderful marriage in every way. Third, their ancestors will be born in the heavens. Fourth, those of the current generation will enjoy benefits and long lives. That you don't need me, all you need is just this Bodhisattva status. Then I can retire. Huh? Both? Are you greedy or not? <laughs> Ah. Need me for what? Buddha statue is everything. What has that? So, so that I can read stories for you, bedtime story, cookies, candies. Huh? You are greater than them. <laughs> I what? You are greater than those. Are. Greater than those? Oh, it looked like very great here to me. <laughs> At least the vows is so mighty, you know, so great, so noble. Okay. But at least I read this on oh, the whoever, the relatives of Inisha can hear this and benefit them if they don't believe in me. At least they believe in the Buddha, huh? Bodhisattva. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so glad to read this to you in this retreat. Yeah. Fifth, they will easily obtain what they want. Sixth, they will not encounter disasters or water of water and fire. Seventh, they will avoid unforeseen calamities. Eighth, 
they will never have nightmares. I never had nightmare then. It's true, yeah. And I had none of the problem mentioned above. Yeah, it was healthy and good. Everything okay. Ninth. They will be protected by spirits in their daily comings and goings. Tenth, they will encounter many causes that pertain to sagehood. That's also correct, no? Yeah. I went to the Himalaya, no? <laughs> and learned something. <laughs> well, thank you. If you have helped me, thank you, Bodhisattva Erstor. World Honored One, beings in the present and future who mm-hmm. make offerings in their homes, in the prescribed manner, we attain benefits like those. He further said to the Buddha, "Were honored one, good man or good woman in the future, may keep this sutra and an image of the Bodhisattva where they live. Further, they may recite the sutra and make offerings to the Bodhisattva. For those who do that, I shall constantly use my own spiritual powers to guard and protect them day and night so that nothing bad happens to them, including floods, fire, robbery and theft, theft, major disaster and minor accidents. If I have the Buddha, Bodhisattva image in their home, the earth spirit will protect that home. The Buddha told the earth spirit, firm and stable, that's his name, (laughs) firm and stable earth spirit, we thank you also, firm and stable spirit of the earth, we thank you, or I thank you. You thank them also? Thank you? Yes, Yes, we all thank you. We all thank you very much. Because they are all here. (laughs) They hear you. Sometimes, mostly when we recite sutra or do preaching of the higher, noble way, all the heavens and earth spirit also come, listen. The Buddha told the earth spirit, firm and stable, there are few spirits who can match your great spiritual power. The earth is that strong, Hmm? the earth power is strong, the earth mother spirit. Why do I say that? All because all the lands in Jambudvipa receive your protection. Wow. All the grasses, woods, sands, stones, paddy fields, hemp, bamboo, rich grains, rice and germs come forth from the earth because of your power. Oh, we thank you so much again and again. I told you, if without all this God and Spirit, your grain won't come, your fruit won't come, <laughs> the vegetable will not be there and it won't taste that good. Mm. If it comes, all these people working very hard to protect us, to nourish us. That's why we have to treat the earth truly with respect. But the way we human are doing now is is almost contrary, contrary. Please forgive humans, please forgive us. Moreover, your constant praising of the beneficial deeds of Earth Star Bodhisattva make your meritorious virtues and spiritual penetration hundreds of thousands of times those of ordinary Earth spirits. This is a special one. He is good, good, it's powerful. If good man or a good woman in the future make offerings to this Bodhisattva or recite the sutra of the past vows of earth or Bodhisattva and rely upon even a single aspect of it in their cultivation, you should use your own spiritual powers to protect them. Do not allow any disasters or unwelcome events even to be heard, much less undergone by them. Not only will those people be protected by you, they will also be protected by followers of Chakra, Brahma and other gods. 
Why will they receive protection from sages and worthy such as those? Because it will be due to their having beheld and worshipped an image of Earthstar Bodhisattva and from having recited this sutra of his past vows. Such people will quite naturally be able to leave the sea of suffering and ultimately be certified to the bliss of nirvana. For those reasons, they are given great protection. Ah, because of their merit, huh? Mm. You know why reciting this is giving you so much merit? Hmm? Making you realize that it's there, maybe. Making you realize that it's, it's actually there. Yeah, yeah. Just, it will be imprinted in your subconscious. Yeah. And, and inspire you to a higher ideal because it will become your ideal then. And it's, it's a new meaning to me because. It's a what? Love? A new meaning to me. New meaning to you? Yes, because mm. uh, I looked at, at, at you as the master and the other ones as local gods, uh, lesser masters. And then I can see a, a wider scope of all of the masters. All the masters. So what do you mean? Well, I see a broader scope of, of looking at past masters, like yeah. uh, uh, uh -huh. Buddha and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have to be grateful to past masters. They sacrifice a great deal, even though they were not there, but they're still there, you know, supporting you, supporting other masters, supporting bodhisattvas to do their job, you know? They lend their power, even though they've gone to Devana or not, they're still lending the power. Like a Buddha power is limitless. So maybe the Buddha is not there, but if the Bodhisattva, any Buddhasattva is there, they can also use Buddha's power to help sentient beings. Hmm? So like worshipping a Bodhisattva is just almost like worshipping a Buddha, okay? When he's alive. Hmm. Now it's even yet more interesting. But I think you want to sleep and eat and drink or something like that, no? No. no? <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, sister. Oh, water, water. I was, I was too concerned. I forgot. Check out what is it. <laughs> Very curious. <laughs> Suddenly, three things appear. <laughs> Thank you, the sister who brought me drink. Mm. Mm, water. Oh. Just water. <laughs> Why do we have this water and I have such a big bottle there? Yeah, it's good. I cannot drink so much because I'm sitting here, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? What? It's for you to read the whole book tonight. Yeah, it's almost the whole book already. <laughs> but if I drink all that, then I can't read the whole book. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, then I have to go where? You understand? <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> so even though I was thirsty yesterday, I limit my drink. Even then, I, you know, all this afternoon, I was having some. Emergency, <laughs> urgent stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's here. Why don't I eat? I drink, you know. <laughs> oh, maybe you need. Yeah, one each. You know, you have cup. <laughs> yeah. Okay, take a break. Yes, take a break. All of you can look. You know. <laughs> All beings are the same. So she drinks, and she's like you drink. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, you don't have enough for everyone, okay? <laughs> but you're eating, drinking, all oh, okay, right? What do you want to do? No, just, oh. Mm. How many monks are here? Raise hand. The, the, the one without hair, I know. But the one with hair also monks? <laughs> no, huh? Ten monks. Oh, he also monk? Yes. yes. So ten, huh? So where do you live? I didn't know. It has no room for him. He stay with everybody else? Yes. 
with the working team. Working team? Yes. Why? <laughs> he worked? No. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He could stay in my office. I did not know. Oh. I forgot. He didn't have to stay with working team in man or woman. Man working team, right? Yes, man working team. How many people in there? Six. Oh, it's okay. Six and not too bad, right, Reverend? Okay? You need your own room? No, need it. Okay. The one, one monk, okay, but so many. <laughs> one room, okay. You also can use a bedroom. You use it or just the living room? Bedroom, living room, yes. both, yeah. And the third room also can use, but only hanging clothes. But if you need, you use. No need, huh? Okay, it's good. Enough room, yeah? And when you go in, you turn air con and you go off, go out, turn off. Yes, good. It's the least I can do. You happy there? Happy? Yes. Good. Huh? Happy. Yes. Happy. Very good. You too, also monk? Chang Chu. Chang Chu? Yes. Yong Dong. Ah, Chang Chu. Same, same, same with you. Just not wear monk clothes. Yes. Can wear. If Korean, just wear tradition monk's wool. Okay? Shave head. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Winter, have had everything? Yes. Mm. Cover yourself, yes. otherwise have headache, okay? Yes. Mm. When I have had shape, sometimes I have headache you know? yeah. in, in winter. And winter must wear a big hat, and cover ears, yes. also important. <laughs> yeah, take care of each other, okay? Yes. Mm. Mm. Benefits derived from seeing and hearing. What does that mean? Mm? Seeing and hearing. With eyes, and crying, light and sound, I guess. I don't know yet. I guess, yes. At that time, the world honored one emitted hundreds of thousands of millions of great rays of light from the opening at the crowd of his head. They were white-gray, the great white-gray, the auspicious ray, the great auspicious ray, the jade ray, the great jade ray, the purple ray, the great purple ray, the blue ray, the great blue ray, the azure ray, the great azure ray, the red ray, the great red ray, the green ray, the great, great green ray, the gold ray, the great, great gold ray, the celebration cloud ray, the great celebration cloud ray, the thousand wheel ray, the great thousand wheel ray, the jewel wheel ray, the great jewel wheel ray, the solar disk ray, the great solar disk ray, the lunar disk ray, the great lunar disk ray, the palace ray, the great palace ray, the ocean cloud ray, and the great ocean cloud ray, etc. Mm. Thousand of them, so this is just, you know, the main <laughs> wonderful Buddha. After emitting such rays of light from the opening at the crown of his head, he spoke in subtle and wonderful sounds to the great assembly of God's dragons. The the rest of eightfold divisions, uh, humans, non-humans, and others. He said thus, Hear me today in the palace of Triestrimsa, heaven. T-R-A-Y-A-S-T-R-I-M-S-H-A. Triestrimsa. As I praise earth store bodhisattva, telling of his beneficial deeds, of inconceivable events, of the matter of his transcendence to sage hut, of the circumstances of his certification to the tenth ground, and of the salutation leading to his beings irreversible from Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi, mean ultimate Buddhahood.
Yeah, Anuttara Samyak Sambori means the ultimate wisdom, ultimate enlightenment. Mm. Ten grounds probably meaning that he passed all of the possible level. Hmm? Okay. I probably have it somewhere, maybe I have it. Is it ten grounds? I know the ten merit, I didn't know the ten grounds. So we have it somewhere. Maybe it's, it's a different translation. I never heard of ten ground before. Ten something. Ten wholesome action that we heard about. I read it to you already, huh? Well, by the way, here we are reminded of the five types of business that we, Kuan Yin practitioners, should avoid, absolute. Yeah? The first is business dealing with weapons, you know, killing, it's a gun, knife, grenade, bomb, all those stuff. That business is a no, 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 no. Number two, business in trafficking human beings, selling for prostitution or slavery, yeah, or labor, thing like that. You know, that's a no, 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 no. Mm. Number three, business in meat, selling any kind of meat is a no, 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 no. Number four, business in intoxicants, you know, like alcohol, drugs that, uh, you know, confuse people, make them sick in mind and body and spirit. That is no, 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 no. Yeah. Number five, business in poison, selling rat poisons or, you know, insecticides, killing insects and rats and pests or any kind of poison, hmm? or killing humans, all that is bad. Except the poison that is used in pharmacy in a small doses sometimes mixed with other medicine in some cases. That's different, okay? But just selling pure poison for contaminating or killing or maiming, yeah, harming, then it's no good. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just by the way, I told you already what kind of business was good for you. Hmm? Meritorious, yeah? Long time ago, huh? I don't have to say it again. Okay. So he emitted thousands, hundreds of this kind of rays in different colors. After emitting such rays of light from the opening at the crown of his head, the Buddha spoke in subtle and wonderful sounds to the great assembly of gods and dragons, the rest of the Eightfold Division, humans, non-humans and others. Hear me today, the Buddha spoke. In the palace of the Trimsha heaven, as I praise earth store Bodhisattva, telling of his beneficial deeds, of inconceivable events, of the matter of his transcendence to sagehood, of the circumstances of his certification to the ten ground, and of the situation leading to his being irreversible from Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. As that was said, a Bodhisattva, Mahasattva name, oh, excuse me, who say that? Oh, yeah, 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 the Buddha said for sure about the earth store Bodhisattva. As Buddha said that, a Bodhisattva, Mahasattva named contemplator of the world sounds arose from his seat and the and in the assembly, knelt on both knees and with palms together, said to the Buddha, Word honored one, Ersto Bodhisattva Mahasattva is replete with great compassion and pities beings who are suffering for their offenses. In thousands of millions of worlds, he creates thousands of millions of transformation bodies through the strength of his meritorious virtues and inconceivable awesome spiritual strength. I have heard the word honored one 
and the numberless Buddhas of the Ten Directions praise the Earth Star Bodhisattva, unanimously agreeing that even if all the Buddhas of the past, present and future were to speak of his meritorious qualities, they could never finish describing them. Even all the Buddhas with all their power cannot count all the merits of the Earth Star Bodhisattva. What a great being, huh? So nice to know you. <laughs> Upon hearing the world honored one tell the great assembly that he now wants to praise Earth Star Bodhisattva's beneficial deeds and so forth, I am beseeching the world honored one to praise the inconceivable events pertaining to Earth Star Bodhisattva for the sake of beings of the present and future. I will look at you sometimes. And to cause the gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division to gaze in worship and attain blessings. The Buddha replied to the Bodhisattva contemplator of the world's, the world's sound. Thus, you have great affinity with the Saha world, I mean our planet, our world. If gods, dragons, men, women, spirits, ghosts, or any other beings who are suffering of, for offenses within the six paths, hear your name, meaning the Bodhisattva contemplator of the world's sound. If they hear your name, uh, see your image, how can we? We don't have any, right? Just name, okay then. <laughs> Behold you or praise you, they will definitely become irreversible on the unsurpassed way, in the way to Buddhahood. Yeah. They will always be born among people and gods and there experience wonderful bliss. When the effects of their causes come to maturity, they will encounter Buddhas who will give them predictions. You now are replete with great compassion and pity for beings, for gods, for dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division. Meaning different beings, yeah? Like humans or animals, yeah? Lesser animals, yeah. He has compassion for all of them. Listen as I discuss events involving the inconceivable benefits bestowed bestow by Earth Star Bodhisattva. Listen attentively. I will discuss it for you. Is my English okay so far? Understood? Yes. Yeah, thank you. I haven't read for so long time. Just recently. And no, no talking much in English. Almost no talking at all. <laughs> the contemplator of the world's sounds said, So be it, world honored one, I will be pleased to hear. The Buddha told the Bodhisattva contemplator of the world's sounds thus, in words of the present and future, God, whose heavenly blessing are ending, may be manifesting the five signs of decay. Yeah, indications that they may be about to fall into evil paths even. You hear that? Hmm? Gods whose heavenly blessings are ending, the gods eh, whose heavenly blessings are ending may be manifesting the five signs of decay, indication that they may be about to fall into evil paths. Huh? not just to go be born as human even. So imagine that, the gods. So don't ever wish for marriage in heaven. Don't want to be a god in any of the heavens. Want to be Buddha, okay? <laughs> At least liberation, all right? From all this uh, lower rim. At least go to the fifth level. Well, when those signs appear, if those gods, whether male or female, a female god, 
goddess. Yeah? Wow. You mean in other in lower realm, huh? Yeah. If those gods, whether male or female, see a store bodhisattva's image or hear his name and gaze at him or bow once to him, once even, their heavenly blessings will thereby increase. They will experience great happiness and will never have to undergo retributions in three evil paths, meaning hell, hungry ghosts, or, you know, bad animals. That's the three evil paths. How much more will that be the case for those who, upon hear, seeing and hearing the Bodhisattva use incense, flowers, clothing, food, drink, jewels, and necklaces as gifts and offerings to Him, the meritorious virtues, blessings, and benefits again will be limitless and unbounded. Okay, so hearing seen with physical instrument like eyes and ears, not not the quanning method, <laughs> because quanning method then we don't need all this. <laughs> yeah, it can be an extra blessing, you know. Why not? If we re- we respect past masters, it's always good for you. Hmm? Moreover, contemplator of the world sounds in the world, in the present and future. In many worlds, you know, many in the universe of this present and future. When beings in the six paths are on the verge of death, if they can hear the name of Earth or Bodhisattva, even the sound of it passing through their ears only once, such beings will never have to endure the sufferings of the three evil paths again. How much more will that be the case if the parents and other relatives use the houses, wealth, property, jewels, and clothing of such people who are on the verge of death to commission the carving or painting of images of earth or bodhisattva? If those sick people have not yet died, their relatives can try to help them to see, to hear, and understand that their houses, their jewels, and so forth, their possessions, they should see and hear that their possessions and so forth have been used for the carving or painting of images of Earth or Bodhisattva. If those people's karmic retributions were such that they should have to undergo severe sickness, then with such merit they can quickly be cured and their lifespans prolonged even. Ah. If those people retributions were such that they should have to undergo severe sickness, then with such merit they can quickly be cured and their lifespans prolong even then. Ah? Wonderful. Thank you. If those people's retribution were such that their lives should end, and in response to obstacles due to offenses and karma, they should fall into the evil destinies. Then, with such merit, you know, as above mentioned, their house and their possessions sell to make image of the Buddha and offering to Buddha, uh, Bodhisattva, Earthstore. Even then, even if they're supposed to fall into evil destinies, meaning hell and all that, then with such merit they can when their lives end, be born among people or gods and there enjoy extremely wonderful bliss. All their obstacles due to offenses will dissolve." Wow! Breathtaking! Hmm? (laughs) Wonderful to know such great beings in the universe working for all beings' wellness. Moreover, contemplator of the world's sounds bodhisattva. In the future, men or women may have lost their fathers, mothers, brothers or sisters while still an infant or as a child of three or five 
or under 10 years of age. Buddha is very detailed, huh? As adults, such people may think about those parents and other relatives, not knowing to what past or heavens they have been born. Suppose such people are able to sculpt or paint images of earth or bodhisattva or to gaze upon and worship him once. Suppose they can continue their worship without retreating, so that for one, through seven days, they gaze in reverence upon seeing his image and make offerings upon hearing his name. Then, if such people's relatives had fallen into bad paths and were destined to remain there for many eons, those relatives will quickly gain release, be born among people or gods, and experience supremely wonderful bliss. That will happen because of the meritorious virtue generated by their sons, daughters, brothers or sisters who carved or painted images of earth or bodhisattva and then gaze upon and worship them. If such people, relatives, had already been born among people or gods, on the strength of their own blessings and were already experiencing supremely wonderful bliss, then upon receiving that additional merit, their causes pertaining to sagehood will increase. They will have more chance to become a sage or saint, you know, Buddha, Bodhisattva, soon, sooner. And they will experience limitless bliss. So good. If such people are able to behold and worship images of earth or bodhisattva single mindedly during three weeks, can you do that? Difficult. Hmm? Reciting his name a full ten thousand times, the bodhisattva may then manifest a boundless body and describe to those people the realms into which their relatives have been born. It be a vision for you. Hmm? Hmm. If you sit three weeks, uh, it didn't say uh, sit three weeks, but single-mindedly recite his name for three weeks. Uh, then the Bodhisattva himself, the manifestation will appear to that person and show him or her where his past relatives has been born because they died when he was young, you know, the kid was young. Or in their dreams, the bodhisattva may manifest great spiritual power and personally lead them to those worlds to see their relatives. If they can further recite the bodhisattva's name one thousand times a day, every day for one thousand days, the Bodhisattva will send the ghosts and earth spirits in the vicinity of such people to guard and protect them for their entire lives. In this world, their clothing and food will be abundant and they will have no suffering from sickness or other causes. No accidents will occur in their households, much less affect them personally. Finally, the Bodhisattva will rub the crowns of their heads and bestow predictions upon them, meaning you will become Buddha sometime. Or maybe something good will come in soon, you know, like telling them in advance. Moreover, contemplator of the world sounds Bodhisattva. Good men or good women in the future may want to practice great compassion in rescuing and taking across beings, may want to cultivate unsurpassed body, and may want to leave the triple world, uh, up to the fifth, uh, third world, 
those people may see a store Bodhisattva's image, hear his name, and in their hearts take refuge with him. They may use incense, flowers, clothing, jewels, food, and drink to make offerings while beholding and worshiping him. Such good people's wishes will quickly be realized, and they will never have any further obstructions. Moreover, contemplator of the world sounds Bodhisattva. In the future, good men and good women may want to fulfill hundreds of thousands of millions of vows and to succeed in as many undertakings in both the present and future. They need only take refuge with, gaze upon, worship, make offering to, and praise images of Earth Bodhisattva. In such a way, their vows and goals can be all realized. Moreover, they may hope that Earth Bodhisattva, being endowed with great compassion, will always protect them. In dreams, the Bodhisattva will rub the crowns of their heads and bestow predictions upon them. Moreover, contemplator of the world, Sao Bodhisattva, means he's talking to this Bodhisattva. Yeah. Good men and good women in the future may have high regard for the great vehicle sutras and make the inconceivable resolve to read them and to recite them for memory. I mean, learn by heart, huh? Wow. They may then encounter a bright master who instructs them so that they may become familiar with the text. But as soon as they learn them, they forget them. They may try for months or years and yet still be unable to read or recite them from memory. Because those good men and good women have karmic, karmic obstruction from past lives, that have not yet been dissolved. They are unable to read and memorize sutras of the great vehicle. Upon hearing Earth Star Bodhisattva's name or seeing his image, such people should, with deep respect and honesty, state their situation to the Bodhisattva. In addition, they should use incense, flowers, clothing, food and drink, and other material objects they enjoy to make offerings to the Bodhisattva. They should place a bowl of pure water before the Bodhisattva for one day and one night. Afterwards, placing their palms together, they should state their request and then, while facing south, prepare to drink that water. As the water is about to enter their mouth, they should be particularly sincere and solemn after drinking the water, they should abstain from the five uh, pungent plants, you know, like garlic, onions, and what else? Leek. Leek. Also a similar onion. And uh, onion, garlic, leeks, and some kind of other onions. And what else? Something that smell bad when you eat them like garlic onion, similar, the smaller, similar type of onion, smaller, you know. Uh, I know it in Vietnamese, I just can't translate it. I think... Chives. Chives, yeah, 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 chives. That is small leaves, yeah. Uh, also, wine, you know, avoid wine, meat, improper sexual activity, foul speech, and all killing and harming for one to three weeks, even just in short span, not even a lifetime, but you keep your veggie diet a lifetime. Okay, don't listen to this. This is for all, for all the people. Hmm? Yeah, even just to keep a few weeks, married so much, how much more if you keep a lifetime? Huh? No? Hmm. Logical, no? Yes, yes. Yeah. What for after for second meet and why why you come back there again, huh? Okay. In dreams, 
Those good men and good women may then see earth store bodhisattva anointing, uh, manifest body, you know, anointing the brows of their heads with water. When they awaken, they may be endowed with keen intelligence. Upon hearing this sutra, but one time they will eternally remember it. If uh, and never forget or lose a single sentence of us, but you have to do all this, you see, and really concentrate. Yeah, maybe Anand has done that in the past lives. Yeah, before he remembers so many things, and the Buddha said he didn't, he won't forget even one word. Yeah, what a memory. Mm. Moreover, contemplator of the world, Sao Bodhisattva. In the future, there may be people whose food and clothing are insufficient, who find their efforts thwarted, who endure much sickness or misfortune, whose families are not peaceful, whose relatives are scattered, who are accident-prone or who are often stalled in their sleep by dreams, by bad dreams. Upon hearing earth of Bodhisattva's name and seeing his image, such people should recite his name a full ten thousand times with extreme sincerity and respect. Those in auspicious circumstances will gradually disappear and they will gain peace and happiness. Their food and clothing will be abundant and even in their dreams they will have peace and happiness. Oh, I take a break, okay. Wow, so many. It's almost done. Wow. Okay. Ah, that is another chapter. Okay. Uh, this is it is different chapter, okay, but it's still very long. Moreover, contemplator of the word Sao Bodhisattva, in the future, good men and good women may have to enter mountain forests, cross over rivers, seas, and other large bodies of water, or take dangerous routes, either for the sake of earning their own livelihood or for public or personal affairs, or matters of life and death, or other urgent business, such people should first recite the name of Earth or Bodhisattva a full ten thousand times. The ghosts and spirits of the lands they pass through will then guard and protect them in their walking, standing, sitting, and lying down. The peace and happiness of those people will constantly be preserved, so that even if they encounter tigers, wolves, lions, or any other harmful, poisonous creatures, they will not be harmed. Nothing touch you if you recite the Bodhisattva name ten thousand times before you undertake this dangerous, risky journey. The Buddha told the contemplator of the world sounds Bodhisattva. Earth or Bodhisattva has great affinity with beings in Jambudvipa. Hundreds of thousands of eons would not be time enough to describe the benefits derived by beings who see his who see this Bodhisattva and hear his name. Therefore, contemplator of the world sounds Bodhisattva, you should use your spiritual powers to propagate this sutra, thus enabling beings in the Saha world to receive peace and happiness always throughout hundreds of thousands of eons. That's it. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after the Master Nirvana, and also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time, 
and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. And the Buddha spoke verses, almost like uh, compressing yeah? more of the, his merit into a poem. Oh, but this is different deeds, different way of doing it. Wow. Ah, similar, similar. Oh, yeah, 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 it's the same. Okay, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's the same. But if people can dedicate all this merit to the Dharma, to become Buddha in the future, then that merit will be greater and lasting. Uh, maybe later I will read this to you. I don't feel like I can read anymore. My voice doesn't feel like it can continue. It can, it's just a little bit uh, too, too effortful. Yeah, I read it another time. It's a poem that the Buddha almost like, uh, you know, it's like the composite of all the things that he just said hmm? about avoiding risk and danger and all that. Or how to re- how to improve your memory and that okay, just you have heard already, so it's not hurry. There's another chapter, but I don't have I don't have uh, so fresh energy to continue reading. So another time, huh? So we meditate for a while, okay? All of us meditate. The people downstairs, they saw me already before I came here. And so you see me now, everyone meditate with me for a while and then I'll leave. Mm-hmm. Reading book can be <laughs> drowsy. <laughs> Not drowsy. I just want to remind all of you to give gratitude to the original mighty merciful uh, councils. Yosku, mighty merciful councils for their blessing on our planet, keeping it going until we find better solution, if we do want to find that your people more awaken. Hmm? I hope it's continue, but thank them anyway, okay? Thank God some Original power, cosmic original power, Yosku power, and specially Yosku, merciful, mighty councils. Yeah? Okay, thank you. That's it. Don't forget. Don't forget the original universe. Because they are mighty, truly mighty. <laughs> All this talk, even, is from a shadow world. Not that we are not grateful to them, okay? But they are different worlds, huh? Okay? All right. I thank the universe every day, original universe, and God, original power, <laughs> cosmic original power. And, yeah, you ask the council. Thank you, huh? All right, that's good, though. We thank them. Because there's no, no other powers can rescue our planet right now, no, up to now. Mm. Only this power can. Mm. Okay, thank you. All right, good. Give me all this basket. I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I will eat them all through you for later. You take them later. It's for people who are going home to take, right? All right, thank you. Light off. Good night. Good night or good morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Forever and true, and I love you forever and true. Mm. Wonderful friends, beautiful. You may do so, okay. <laughs>